I really want to find a white dress. And I always tell myself, you know, I have a spiritual connection with the thrift store. So when I go in, I always find exactly what I was needing, what my heart was wanting. So we're going to see. We're actually going to test out this theory to see if I really do have a connection like that. Because I really, really want just like a pretty white dress. So I'm actually going to wear my shades. And I'm not going to be challenging me to some of the indoors and the things. But I feel like when I have all my shades... I'm in stealth mode, like no one can see me, no one can see what I'm looking at. I'm like hyper aware in these because I can also, I don't know what technology is in these shades, but I can see what's behind me looking forward. Like there is some reflection situation going on, like when I look down to the side, I can see what's behind me. I'm gonna make sure that I cannot be seen, that I cannot be found, that I cannot be bothered. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to get these garments. I'm on a mission to be unbothered. I don't even want my Uber driver talking to me. I'm sorry, what? I don't speak English today. All right, let's go. So besides setting the intention of what I want to find before going to the thrift store, also, what I do when I enter, especially so that I don't get overwhelmed, because I know a lot of people can get overwhelmed when they're thrifting because there's just so many options and they're all different. So you kind of get choice fatigue or like, you know, decision anxiety, if you may. But what I like to do is instead of looking like, oh, there's so many shirts, what I do is I don't look at them as shirts. I look at them as like colors and patterns and I direct my eyes just through every rack and I'm like which fabric do I like which color do I like what is drawing its attention to me instead of going through every single piece of clothing on the rack I just direct myself to patterns colors and fabrics that I like and it just makes it so much easier now for the scarves Man, I love scarves. They're so versatile. They're so versatile, first of all. You can use it as a dress, a skirt, a shirt, a headband, you know, whatever you want. You know, a picnic blanket if you want, depending on the size. I love the versatility of scarves. And I'm specifically looking for very fairy core like pieces. So, very pastel -y pieces, some light greens, some earth colors, floral patterns, things that are, you know, light and flowy, things that remind me of nature, things that are very whimsical in nature. And back to back, I was just finding everything that I needed, even with the purses. And the total came up to 308 Canadian, which is way lower than what my budget actually was. So, I'm pretty sure that I have proven my theory to be true. I do have a spiritual connection with the thrift store. I have proven it time and time again. It has never failed me. You guys know how I specifically said, I really want to find a white dress. I really want to find a white dress. Not just any white dress, but something just beautiful. Something that flows, not just like a plain white dress, but something with character that suits me. And not only did I find one, I found two. I almost found three. I did find three because I didn't put that one back. I found three beautiful white dresses, each with their own personality. So this one is more of like a cream color, but still gorgeous. Never been worn. Never been worn. Only $5. Are you kidding me? 
And I think what I'm gonna do, I love the pleats, I love how it drapes at the bottom. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the front so it's not like a church dress, it's more of like a angelic, sexy, but don't look at me too long kind of dress, you know? So this, this is the first one. I, I need to get a mannequin so that I can really just put my magic into these pieces and just elevate them so much more before I send them off to their new home. So there's that first one. This one I literally got right as I was checking out. I was putting back some things and on the go back rack where all the unwanted were, this beauty it was looking at me and i was looking at her absolutely beautiful i don't even ugh. wonderful and none of these dresses have any blemishes it's like really important to me now this third one this dress just reminds me of a flower i'm gonna have so much fun styling this i've never styled something like this so it's gonna be cute like come on where do you find these in the thrift store it's like god literally was like i know exactly what you need i know exactly what is just going to take your style from where it is at now a hundred notches up i'm gonna really let you play I found like a cute little box. I think I'm gonna use this for my jewelry. Some more really cute scarves. I know we're gonna have fun with this, especially since it's summertime. Oh my gosh. And I really love tassels. Tassels are like my thing. This is beautiful. I could not stop looking at this color. Wasn't a huge fan of the dress entirely, but I think when I put it on, when I style it, maybe shorten it, I don't know. Do I wanna get like, do I wanna get like that? I don't know. I don't know. So many good things. Now this is almost a white dress, but it's not. So today I am in the mood to dress like a fairy. <laughs> so I'm taking this dress and turning it into a skirt. You guys already know how I do. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I got this from my mom. It's a scarf, it's a poncho, it's a skirt. It's a head wrap, it's, it's many things. I've worn this as many things. And I was thinking I should layer it over the skirt. It's cute, the way it flows, I love it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a lot better with this. This came out of nowhere. I've never done this before. I was just experimenting. But what I'm about to do with this blew my mind. <laughs> so I am turning turning this into like a caped scarf look. I don't know. I don't know, but I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just going to pin up the sides and the back of the skirt to add more layers. I did not like my hair in that bun. So we're we're getting we're getting rid of the bun. And some earrings. I got these because they remind me of my husband. He's a Pisces and they look like fish. So <laughs> some beads of course and here is the look. So adorable. I love it. 